Hey guys, Noel here, and it is Saturday night, and I thought it would be fun for us to do an anime review for the anime review section of the YouTube channel. Recently, we reviewed Art of Fighting 2, what I consider to be the hardest 2D fighting game ever, uh, and in keeping with that theme, I thought it would be fun for us to review the anime version of Art of Fighting. This is an original video animation. Uh, I believe this also aired on Fuji TV. I could be wrong. Double check that. Um, this is uh, a 40 minute, one episode uh, anime that utilizes the Art of Fighting characters, uh, but it pretty much tells its own story. Uh, it does kind of a, a, a jewel heist uh, plot uh, and plugs in art of fighting characters and also the trope of the kidnapped damsel in distress, which is very prominent in the first art of fighting because the whole premise of the first art of fighting is uh, Rio and Robert have to rescue Rio's kidnapped sister, Yuri. Um, an interesting thing about this anime is that the character designs in this anime are based more on the Art of Fighting 2 live action commercial uh, than the actual character design of the characters in Art of Fighting 1 or 2. So, for example, you'll see on the screen that Robert is wearing a full uh, kind of Don Johnson style suit and Rio has black hair. That is going to be exactly how Rio and Robert look in the Art of Fighting 2 live action commercials uh, for the Neo Geo game. Uh, Yuri was played by Ayumi Hamasaki of J-pop fame in those commercials when she was younger, not quite as famous. Um, and Yuri in this anime looks like an anime version of Ayumi Hamasaki. Um, I've seen a lot of critics really rail against this anime, and I don't really understand why. Um, for me, whose taste is somebody who likes Japanese anime, who likes 2D fighting games, who like uh, kind of fun 1980s style action movies, um, this movie really combines, this anime really combines all of those things. Um, there's not really any point in the movie where I was watching this that I felt that I was not entertained. I feel like all the characters in this movie are, uh, you know, decent, rep decent to excellent representations of their in-game personas. Uh, Rio is a, you know, a very disciplined and focused martial artist, but he does have kind of a goofy personality. He's always kind of looking for money because he's kind of uh, this fighter bum guy. Uh, Robert is a ladies' man, um, kind of the, uh, the Ken Masters, if you will, of uh, the uh, dynamic duo of uh, Rio and Robert. Um, Yuri, damsel in distress, uh, but has got some spunk, uh, which is, you know, that is her character. And in Art of Fighting 2, she becomes an actual playable fighter. And um, Kang uh, is also, uh, you know, I think well represented in this anime is, uh, you know, kind of the, uh, you know, sexy, mysterious uh, rival henchman of the villainous Mr. Big. Now, um, basically, how the plot of this is going to work is Rio and Robert are going to be on a, uh, a mission to find a lost cat because uh, Rio has been contracted by an elderly lady in Southtown, the fictional city. It's very much like New York, where the whole Art of Fighting Fatal Fury franchise takes place, uh, to find her lost cat, and then she was going to you know, give him a bounty, and that would pay his electric bill. Well, while they're chasing that cat down, they stumble into a uh, basically jewel heist apartment robbery gone wrong, and through that premise... They find themselves in a situation where they have to do a lot of cool martial arts fights against villainous biker gangs led by the chubby biker uh, and henchman of Mr. Big Jack. Uh, they have to rescue Yuri, Robert, or Rio's kidnapped sister. 
they have to uh, go undercover, so to speak, to do so. Uh, they have to have humorous and action-oriented encounters with uh, police officers led by the art of fighting character Toto. Uh, and then ultimately they have to uh, find themselves in a uh, exciting climax with uh, car crashes and helicopters. What's not to like? Now, I have heard some people uh, complain that, you know, the fighting scenes toward the end of the anime are not that intricate. And they're not that intricate, but they're not bad either. Um, there's just kind of a lot of fighting and, you know, that kind of, you know, kind of like punching and kicking kind of things. There's not like, uh, the camera angle is pretty static while punches and kicks are being thrown. Now, I don't personally think that that looked bad at all, especially considering that while the camera zooms in and out on the Art of Fighting video game, it's a 2D fighting game where the camera stays still. So, I don't know. Um, music in this uh, anime is also quite good. It's got kind of a uh, upbeat, jazzy soundtrack to it. Um, and the closing credits have a very, very cool, powerful vocal song. So, it's, uh, it's good, good stuff. Now, this anime, I would say, is, uh, you know, here in uh, no small part to the obvious boom in fighting games uh, that was created by Street Fighter 2. I mean, ironically, uh, the art of fighting is something of a... Uh, spiritual successor to Street Fighter 2 because the original creator of Street Fighter, the guy who made Ken and Ryu, uh, Pisan Takahashi, uh, is responsible for the Fatal Fury and Art of Fighting franchises. So, you know, rather than calling Art of Fighting derivative, uh, I would say that, you know, Art of Fighting is, is, how can you be derivative when, you know, the creator of Ryu and Ken are, is using similar tropes? to tell other stories. I mean, if you know who, the fact that Capcom owns the rights to Ryu and Ken it should not disqualify, you know, the creator of Ryu and Ken <laughs> from, uh, from utilizing their, uh, their essences in other creative formats. Uh, and I think Art of Fighting, both as a game and as an anime, does that in its own unique way that is, you know, definitely reacting to the massive success of Street Fighter 2, but doing things in its own way. Now, this movie uh, obviously is going to draw comparisons to Street Fighter 2, the animated movie. Um, Street Fighter 2, the animated movie, correct me if I'm wrong, I believe that came out in 1994, and I believe this movie came out in 1993. So, this, you know, obviously was not a big motion picture release. Double check my information, uh, but I want to say that this was originally shown on Fuji TV in 1993, and then in 1997 was released in the United States uh, through um, Manga Work. Uh, I'm sorry, U.S. Manga Corps. Uh, so that's uh, you know the uh, people who were releasing this to American audiences. Um. So, you know, while Street Fighter, the animated movie, you know, I think it did a better job of, you know, obviously animation. Tetsuya Komuro was doing the soundtrack, much bigger budget, you know, and it did, I think, focus more in depth on the characters. Um, this uh, kind of does its own thing and decides to go for the uh, heist movie uh, structure. Uh, with fighting game characters doing fighting game things, including, you know, over-the-top action. And the whole buddy cop uh, kind of dynamic that Ryu, I'm sorry, Ryo and Robert have uh, is quite enjoyable. You know, it's just they're, fr they're just best friends and martial arts rivals just paling along, finding themselves in increasing layers of both uh, mischief and life-threatening situations that their goofy karate expertise can get them out of. So, uh, yeah, I don't really have anything negative to say about this movie. I like it. 
Uh, I don't think it's as engaging as Street Fighter the Animated Movie, but it's deeply enjoyable to watch. This would be a great anime to have if you just want to sit down and chill and watch something cool. Uh, if you want to have... so there, There's a re, there's the uh, um, uh, Yuri right there who looks like Ayumi Hamasaki. Um, uh, if you want to have this like a cool anime on in the background while you do your thing, maybe you want to play some King of Fighters or Art of Fighting or Street Fighter or something like that, and you just want to have a cool anime on in the background, this is great. It's definitely got some uh, comedic moments. Um, I think the characters are all likable. Uh, one thing that's a little odd is uh, John, the Guile knockoff character in Art of Fighting. Uh, he does kind of act a bit like Vega slash Balrog in terms of kind of being that uh, creepy, violent uh, type guy. Uh, that characterization of him does, I guess, fit with his um, Art of Fighting persona, but also kind of adds some creepy new dimensions to it. So, I don't know. But it's uh, it's good stuff. Uh, Toto is the uh, you know bumbling uh, fist pounding uh, on his desk police chief. Uh, you know ultimately you know good at his job while simultaneously being a bit of a Keystone cop is also quite enjoyable. Um, you know Mr. Big is who he is. He's Mr. Big. He's a big bald mysterious boss. And uh, you know Jack is Jack. He's a chubby you know biker thug. So, yeah, good stuff. On a scale of 1 to 10, I give Art of Fighting, the, uh, the anime, a, a 27. It's fantastic. So, uh, until next time, guys, my name's Noel. You take care and make sure that you both play and watch The Art of Fighting. Bye-bye. <laughs>